a PyDoop uh, is is also called as Python Hadoop, wherein uh, you know you can write your MapReduce map program in PyDoop, and then you know Hadoop will be called internally, and uh, MapReduce will get executed internally. So that's about PyDoop. It, it's not the only way. Uh, there is uh, MR jobs. Uh, there is MR job package in Python. There is uh, streaming APIs. There are a host of other things, but then we'll be talking about just one thing. Now, I was talking about PyDoop, right? How do I run my MapReduce using Python? So I can do that here. Uh, just give me a second. Now, these are my notes. Okay. Give me a second, guys. So now, in here, see, I've I've already opened my uh, you know VM, but then I have installed my uh, PyDoop and Hadoop uh, ev everything here. Now I'll connect to my you know remote VM using uh, Putty. Okay, let me uh, change the screen here so that uh, you'll be able to see it better. Change settings and appearance, font, not the font behavior. Okay, so let me make it 16, and uh, I think it should be good. Okay, now all I'm doing here is I'm starting my Hadoop. Okay, so it'll take a couple of seconds to start. And after that, now I told you, right? PyDoop is an integration. It's uh, le let me uh, walk you through about some of the important points on PyDoop. PyDoop packages provide a Python API for Hadoop, MapReduce, and HDFS, right? PyDoop has uh, several advantages over Hadoop built-in solution for Python programming. It's not PyDoop, like I told you, right? PyDoop is not the only way to run your MapReduce program. I mean, Python MapReduce program. You can do it using uh, streaming APIs. You can use it using your MR jobs. There are various other packages available, but it's just that PyDoop is is the more more famous of all this, and it's easier to use as well. One of the biggest advantage of PyDoop is its SDFS API, right? This allows you to uh, connect to SDFS installation, read and write files, etc. PyDoop can do everything. It can connect to SDFS. It can read and write files. It can get information of files, directories. Well, you know, it's global file system properties, etc. PyDoop has access to all. So let's see if it has connected. Yes, it has connected. Now I just want to clear. I want to see whether my uh, my Hadoop is running or not. Yes, my Hadoop is running. Second, and there it goes. Right. So now, now I'll I'll go to a particular location. This PyDoop script, wherein I have written a couple of scripts here, or some of this came built in with PyDoop as well. Uh, and I'm going to use wordcount.py. Okay, you see this here. If I go and this is the Python code that I have written. Okay, it's a mapper wherein every sentence will be split into words, and at the end of each of those split words, see every sentence that is passed here is split, and then each split word is assigned one to it. Okay, so for example, I have, let's say, my name is X Y Z. If this is the input, every word is split and given a number in that particular mapper. My name is again name is. Let's say it's repeated twice, right? And the name again one is one. So this sentence has been split like this in my mapper. In my reducer, and, and this is all done in Python, okay? 
mind you, it's I have not written a Java code or something like that. And you see the number of lines of code that I have written. I'll just show you the number of lines of code. It's and then in reducer, it there is a in middle there is a and short which you do not have to worry about, right? Wherein everything will be grouped together. Let's say uh, my has not been repeated, so my stays one name is one comma one because the name has been repeated twice. Is is again one comma one, and this is just a visual representation that I'm giving you. X Y Z is uh, nothing but one, right? This is shuffle and sort. This will go to the reducer. This output will go to reducer, and it become my one name two is two and X Y Z. So this is how your mapper reducer works, right? And, and uh, this works based on functional programming, so which we are not going to talk about that. But uh, just give you an example as to how this works. Now, this completely because Hadoop has been built on Java, right? The the base on which Hadoop has been built is on Java. So uh, mostly, you know, people started writing code on Java for Hadoop, and then later on they started uh, creating interface for uh, other languages. So PyDoop is one such interface. Now, now that I am here, look at my code. For words in text or split, emit word, and this is the reducer. We do not need combiner. Don't worry about this. Only these two lines is enough right now. Okay, and reducer is word sum map in counts. That's it. Now, if you were to write this same thing, this four lines of code in Java, you would end up writing at least uh, 200 lines of code. At least. Okay. So that's the that's the difference here. I mean, if not 200, uh, it will be at least 150 lines. Okay, so now how do I run that? After you have installed and you have done everything, this is how I run it. See, this is pydo is the name of the command, the pydo package that I have installed. The script is nothing but what count of pi which I want to execute. This is my location where I have my data and this is my output location. Input location and output location. And it's just saying that I just want uh, reduce task to be one which means that I do not want multiple outputs, I just want one output. Okay, I can eliminate this part as well but uh, let's keep it for now. It start, it will start running. Because my system is a little slow today. Okay, it says output already exists, right? So, so let's see, Hadoop fs minus ls and this is the location right output output let's see yes it does exist actually i'll i'll have to remove this folder okay it's done now let me run it again okay it's it's running Okay, might be user. Okay, input data is in SDFS or local system. Okay, so this the input data should be in S SDFS system. What is Pig and Hive? Uh, Akil, those are two other programming languages which are uh, which are written specifically for uh, you know big data purpose, which are specifically uh, written for. Okay. Okay, I I think okay, Sri. I mean, uh, so Sri says it's it's thirty lines in Java. No problem, Sri. Uh, but but look at the number of things that you have written: public void map, output collector, output reporter. For someone who does not know anything, I mean, do you think it's easy? It's extremely difficult, right? But that think about. I mean. Uh, Okay, you have not written iterator and stuff. I mean, this was a simple program, so you did not write iterator. When you go ahead and write iterator and stuff, then it, it becomes really complicated and really you write a lot of lines of code, uh, you know, you end up writing a lot of lines of code there. It just, it's just that I'm giving you, you, a, you, you a comparison between Python and Java, right? It's nothing as to how many lines of code there are or here. It's it's just that it's extremely simple here. And here it's four lines, and there there it's thirty lines. Let's say you write uh, you know 
uh, 400 lines here and then you end up like writing not just 200, I think you'll end up writing 5,000 lines of code there. So, okay, it's, it's taking some time, let it, uh, let it run, we'll, we'll come back to this, okay. And then finally, that's how, you know, you'll be able to write your code, get your output and uh, this is how you'll, you'll get an output. I have, I, I have provided a string, you know, something similar to this and this is what I'm going to get output with, with Pydu. But then, uh, like I told you, right, it'll take some time. My system is a little slow and uh, so it's running. It will take some time. The memory usage is almost 98% here right now. So that's our Python word count. This is what I'm running. Uh, this will take some more time, but in the meantime, I think I'll be able to show you uh, the result. Duplicate session. Hmm. Okay, it's uh, the PyDoop is still working. Okay, output one. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I do first. So you see this the the output will be like this. Okay. See. I provided some string and then it's giving me this output. 